Hey guys, welcome back. So now we are working on number 14, which says which of the following could be an equation of the graph shown in the figure to the right. So just by looking at the answer choices, the first thing I notice is that these three are exponential functions and these two are logarithmic. So what I did is I basically graphed two standard exponential and logarithmic functions and I'm going to show you those because I think they'll help us solve this problem. So this here in the red is y equals 10 to the x and this here in the blue is y equals log base 10 of x. Sorry about my handwriting. Okay, so now if you look at our answer choices, you notice that all of these, like A and B, are just a variation of C. It's just a transformation. So again, if you remember what these transformations do to the function, then it's much easier to identify which this one could be. Um, the other way we could do this is we could recognize that the x-intercept is 1, 0, and we could plug it into each of these functions or sorry, we could plug in one for x to each of these and figure out when we get out zero for y. So for example, let's just take the first one. If we plug in one, we get 10 to the negative one, which equals one over 10 and does not equal zero. Same thing here, 10 to the one, that would give us negative 10, not zero. 10 to the one is 10, not zero. You can also tell just by if you know what exponential graph typically look like, this doesn't really look like an exponential graph unless it was flipped this way and then this way again. Um, so yeah, just kind of keep that in mind. Um, so now looking at the logarithmic graph, however, this looks a lot like this does here. So since we know that this is y equals log 10 of x, this looks like this. Um, the only other thing you may want to do to check d is recognize that what this negative sign does. This negative sign flips it over the x-axis. So after we did that to this graph, it would look something like that. So we know it's not d. So we basically eliminated a through d, and we know that our answer is e. So if you did have a hard time with this problem, I would definitely recommend going back and reviewing exponential and logarithmic functions. That will help you remember what these look like and potentially even transformations of graphs. So that's what this negative will do, for example, if you have a negative here, what that does to the graph. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. These are typically called parent functions and then these are all transformation of the parent functions. All right, well, hope that video helps you with your studies and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.